Carolina Varsity here with head coach Robert Washington for uh, Mountain Island Charter. Uh, coach, talk about your program and what, what's the big thing that you preach here? First, academics. You know, we want to build a program based on the foundation of academics. You know, football is important. We got to win, but it's not everything. I mean, education can carry you a lot farther than a victory in a football game. Excellent. Now, talk about some of the success you've had this year. You're nine and one. Uh, what are some of the key players that you have on the team? Um, first, you know, Eric Gallman. He's a receiver. Um, Eric is a, a real well-rounded, coachable kid. Yes, sir. No, sir. Here's a 5.1 GPA. Um, another kid, Carson Pledger. Carson, you didn't get a chance to meet him, but Carson's a great kid. He's a yes sir, no sir. He's one of our heart. He's our heart and soul of the team. Um, another kid, Hunter Nichols. I got a bunch of these kids. You're gonna, you're gonna see a theme here. But <laughs> Hunter Nichols, he's a great kid. He's a leader. Um, high academics. Um, another kid, a pre Washington. Pre's one of our best athletes. A pre's a do it all. He's even played guard at 175, well, 170 pounds. He played guard. Wow. He's played cornerback, safety. Um, he's at, even asked to get in at a little linebacker. Um, C.J. Stevens. C.J. is, I mean, he had one of the best interceptions I've ever seen last week. Uh, returned it back, but he returned three out of four of his interceptions back for touchdown. Um, another kid, uh, Smooth Johnson. Smooth will take the, he's fast. That's one, one word. But he's also humble. You know, you see a lot of these kids that, you know, they got a big game, but they're really quiet and humble. And, you know, this is the opportunity that, you know, being able to see them in the classroom and stuff, that they're quiet, you know, but they transform once they get on the field. Another kid, Terrell Hager. Terrell, Terrell is special. Terrell can be anything Terrell wants to be. He's just got to put his mind to it, but he's very special. He's hardworking on and off the field, and, you know, he gives you every bit of what he got. Um, another kid, Elijah Burris, he's a freshman. A lot of people know the name, but this kid, I can I can guarantee in the next two or three years, he'll probably one of the top running backs in the country. Wow. He's that good. Um, he has all the characteristics. He has the game. Um, he has the pedigree. Um, and plus, he has the work ethic. You know, he works hard. You know, he's yes, sir, no, sir. He don't get too up and too down. And being able to give him a lot of reps as a freshman is allowed – allowed us to really see those characteristics because we could be in a big game or we can need a – I mean, we was on – I think we needed a fourth and three. And we went for it. We knew to give it to Elijah. And he just said, yes, sir. I asked him, can you get it? He's cool, calm, and collected about it. Man, that's excellent. So talk about the, the setup with the, the uh, charter school here and the support that you get here as a head coach. It's amazing. I got I got a great support staff. I got, you know, administration support as well and – you know, teachers, everybody is really supportive. It's really a community effort. And while we're, the record does say nine and one and, you know, head coach get credit, quarterback, some players, but it's really a group effort. We got a lot of unsung heroes that make things work and click on game day. Now you talked about your study hall. I thought that was a unique setup. Talk, talk about that a little bit. Well, we make sure that they get their study in it because being a student athlete, it's tough. And, you know, I always look back on Richard Sherman. And, and, you know, him going to Stanford and some of the things that he said that he had to do as a real, true student athlete. You know, here, you're not going to just get passed by. You're not going to just get passed over because you can run a football. You're going to have to work. Your teachers are committed to you. Um, I get emails from my teachers all the time, and they genuinely care. I get, you know, we got a guy here, Mr. Guy. Actually, that's his name. He always emails us and just lets us know, well, this kid is doing this. I think he could work a little better. And he, all the teachers kind of root him up. Um, our academic coordinator is um, a young lady by the name of Tanya Tosi. She'll like that I call her young. So. But she's a great woman. She's, she's our unsung hero. She makes sure they, they, they study and they make sure she gets, they get everything out of study hall that they can. So she's, she's our backbone to, to support that effort towards academics. That's awesome, Coach. Now, going back on the field, what's going to be the key in this, this team for, to make a run in the state playoffs and win a state title? Just consistency. I think they just need to stay consistent. Just be who they are. Don't get too up. Don't get too down. Don't take anyone for granted. And don't think anyone could just come in here and beat you. But just keep your head on your shoulders and play. And I always say, you know, the best team, state championship teams, is ran by the players. It's not the coaches. And what I'll do, I'll just be their support. I'm just here to support them and make sure they're executing the game plan. Now, we get it in as a coaching staff, as you see. Um, our coaching staff, we're like brothers. 